OBS Studio is great for recording your content, but if you don't have the right recording settings inside of OBS Studio, the time you spent recording that content is gonna be wasted as the quality is not gonna be good. So in today's video, I'm gonna help you avoid that by giving you the best OBS settings to be able to set up for recording utilizing your Mac. Let's go ahead and dive in. <laughs> First thing you want to do is have your OBS studio open on the right hand side. You're going to come to settings and I always like to double check to make sure you have the right video outputs first. So your base is going to be 1920 by 1080 and your output scale is going to be 1920 by 1080 and your common FPS values are going to be at 60. Once you have that all checked off, you want to come to where it says output. You want to come here to the tab that says recording as the settings for streaming and recording are completely different. You want to make sure for output mode, you have it on advanced. It's going to give you a lot of these options here. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to first set the path where you want those recordings to be. I think this is super important because what you don't want is to have your files be saved on your computer or somewhere where you don't have enough space. This is why I save my recordings to an external hard drive. So once you select that, the next thing you want to do is container format. This is going to be the file format that's going to be saved. Now you don't want to go ahead and utilize MP4. Well, you could, but here's the reason why I don't use Scova, which I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is MKV. Now the reason why I use that over MP4 is because if anything was to happen with OBS or my Mac or anything was to shut down, all the time that I spent creating that content, having the MKV file, which is what I have selected here, I would be able to recover that content that I recorded. If you have it set to MP4 and the same scenario happened, you would lose that because the file will become corrupted. So I recommend utilizing MKV. That's gonna be the best also for post editing. So once you have that in place, you're then gonna see your video bit rate. Now this is super important because this is gonna determine the quality of that recording. Now the best way to to determine what bit rate you can select here is that you want to go ahead and do a speed test. So I'll put a link in the description of this video to speedtest.net to be able to get to those results. So you want to focus on the uploads. Once you get to the speed test website, hit go. It's going to give you a download and your upload. The upload is the main focus here. I always like to use a rule of thumb that whatever upload you have, slash it in half, that's what you have available to be able to utilize inside of OBS Studio. So I have 454, meaning I have 200,000 bit rate that I can utilize inside of OBS Studio. But you can see here that I'm only utilizing 10,000, right? That's where I found to be the sweet spot for the kind of quality of content that I want to be recorded and produced through OBS. You can tweak this, the higher you go, of course, the higher the quality, but also the more strain it puts on OBS and everything of that sort. So I've found 10,000 to be the sweet spot. If you don't have 20 upload, I wouldn't recommend using, you know, 10. You can use 10 because that's half. But if you don't have that, you need to go half of whatever it is you have. And again, if you start going lower than the 10,000, closer to 5,000, 6,000, you could have some quality loss and you may have to drop down to maybe a 720p recording instead of a 1080p recording. So once you have that in place, you want to scroll down here and you want to go ahead and use video encoder and you want to select default, right? Which is LIBX264. You want to go ahead and make sure you have that in place. Your audio bit rate, you want to have it at 320. And then for your auto tracks, you're probably going to have just one check. I use two audio tracks to be able to get different audio. So you can select that as you like. And then the audio encoder is also the default encoder. So you can go ahead and press OK. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start a recording. Recording. This is very recommended for you to be able to test to see how the quality of this recording is. So once you've done that, you can then go ahead and review that file and see if you need to tweak some of the settings. Now, the settings that we just went ahead and set are only for recording using OBS Studio. Those same settings will not work if you want to stream utilizing OBS on your Mac. So to be able to set up the settings for streaming, go ahead and watch this video where I walk you step by step on the best settings for streaming on OBS utilizing your Mac. I'll see you guys in the next video.